Welcome to the Dover International Speedway for the first race of the Dover Doubleheaders, the AAA 400. 33 drivers are going to be here competing here today and through the other race. See who can win at Dover and punch their ticket into the playoffs. Now let's take a look at some of your drivers to watch, presented by Pro Gear Tires. Ross Chastain already has proven himself to be a championship favorite after winning two races this season at Las Vegas and Northville. He's hoping to continue that streak after a pole sitting lap for the first race here at Dover. Can Chastain put this together for his third win on the season? The driver who won last time out was Eric Jones. He starts fourth today at Dover and was the winner at Charlotte in giving Toyota their first NASCAR at the next High Wheels Cup Series win. Can Eric Jones continue that streak and give Toyota another win here today? A driver who has struggled so far this season has been Chase Elliott, but this could be his best opportunity to get a win this season. He starts sixth today at, at, today at Dover and is looking to get his first career win here today. Their current points leader is Austin Dillon. He starts third today at the Dover International Speedway and of course leads the series in points. But he's also got two wins this year at short tracks like Dover at Phoenix and Richmond. Could he possibly get his third win here today at another short track? And finally, we have Chase Briscoe. He starts 21st today at Dover, and he's making his second start in the NASCAR at the next Hot Wheels Cup Series. He finished 31st at Richmond, filling in for Ryan Newman in the sixth car. He's looking for better results today in that Stuart Haas prepared colleague racing car. Now let's take a lap down the Dover International Speedway on our GoPro on-track car. Now this is a similar track to what Richmond and Phoenix is as it will enter a little half 90 degree turn and into a full 180 degree turn to the finish line. Now let's head trackside for the command of fire engines. Drivers, start your engines. The engines have been fired. We are ready to go racing here today at Dover. Your pace car driver today is Connor Jacklin. He will be driving in the 2018 Ford Mustang. Now, if you would like to be the pace car driver for the next Dover race, be sure to find Terry's RV somewhere hiding along the racetrack. Now, let's take a look at some of your race facts entering today's event. There are 33 cars competing in today's race. We have numerous cars going to the rear the 10 car of eric almarola the 21 car of matt de benedetto the 12 car of ryan blaney and the 24 car of william byron for inspection issues cole custer and daniel suarez for both unapproved adjustments and there are only four races left until the playoffs we are now ready for segment number one to begin in row one we have the 77 car of ross chastain and the 14 car of clint boyer in row two is the eight car of tyler reddick and the 22 car of joey logano in row three is the 32 car of Corey lajoy and the 11 car of denny hamlin row four the 37 car of ryan priest and the 28 car of joseph west then running on the field going to a backup car is a 48 car of jimmy johnson Your reigning series champion, Jimmy Johnson, is already out of the race after he already had to go to a backup car after wrecking and qualifying earlier t today. So let's take a look at the replay, see if we can diagnose what happened. As they were going to the green, and he tried to make a move on the inside of Joseph West, and the field kind of gets stacked up there, and he just kind of flips over. We still have three laps remaining in segment number one. Ross Chastain is able to take home the segment one win and move on to the final stage. Let's take a look at the race replay. Lap one, again, Chastain does a great job at taking the lead, but Corey LaJoy almost made a pass on Tyler Reddick. As you saw a little black late by Tyler Reddick. 
heading to lap three. But Reddick gets a good jump, but Chastain, again, able to use that inside lane to his advantage. And LaJoy made a good move on to follow Chastain to move into second place. Then heading to the final lap, watch Joseph West. He is going to make a very good move entering the corner. And it looks like, yeah, after the field gets stacked up, Joseph West moves to third. Chastain almost gets beat by Reddick and LaJoy, but is able to hold off the field to take home the segment win. Chastain is able to finish first, Reddick second, Joseph West third, Ryan Priest finishes fourth, Hamlin fifth, Corey LaJoy sixth, Clint Boyer falls back to seventh, Logano finishes eighth, and Jimmy Johnson finishes ninth. Now we move on to segment number two. In row one, we got two Joe Gibbs racing teammates up front with Martin Truex Jr. and Kyle Busch. Row two is the two car of Brad Keselowski and the 42 car of Matt Kenseth. In row three, the 81 car of Eddie Gallagher and the 17 car of Chris Buescher. Then rounding of the field is the one car of Kurt Busch and the 21 car of Matt Benedetto. A big wreck for Eddie Gallagher as he goes off the racetrack entering corner number one. But Martin Truex Jr. is able to win the race even though it took an extra lap to do it as we take a look at the replay. Lap one, Martin Truex Jr. was able to get in front of Brakislavski and hold him off to take to hold the lead. Heading to lap number two, does the exact same thing. Gets a good another good push from his teammate. Kozlowski tries to cross him over, but it couldn't quite work. Then heading to lap number three, this is where Eddie Gallagher starts to make his move toward the front of the pack. Martin Truex Jr. again gets a good push from Eddie Gallagher, and Eddie Gallagher is able to take over the second position from Brad Kozlowski. Then heading to lap number four, which would be, be the final lap, but because the cars didn't make it to the line, that we would have to go to overtime. Eddie Gallagher got a really good push and had a chance to the lead, but both but they tangle up. And they go to overtime. And in overtime, here it is. Truex is a good run. But Kyle Busch, I'm not quite sure what happened. But Kyle Busch looked like he might have shoved Eddie Gallagher off the racetrack. We'll have to take another look at this from our GoPro car. Actually, here's it a little bit slower. So we can see I'll diagnose it a little bit better. And it looks like... Oh, my, uh, I'm not quite sure, but it looks like... Kyle Busch shoved him off the track, and he Eddie Gallagher had no room for him. So unfortunate break for Eddie Gallagher as he had a fast car and was looking to contend for the segment win. Truebrex is able to finish first. Kyle Busch finishes second. Kozlowski third. Busher fourth. Kurt Busch fifth. Benedetto sixth. Matt Kenseth in seventh. And then Eddie Gallagher finishes in eighth. We now moved on to segment number three. Row one, we have the three car of Austin Dillon and the nine car of Chase Elliott. In row two is your Daytona 500 winner, Daniel Hemrick, and the six car of Ryan Newman. In row three is the 95 car of Christopher Bell and the four car of Kevin Harvick. Then right on the field is the 12 car of Ryan Blaney and the 35 car of Daniel Suarez. Kevin Harvick is out of this race after looking to have a good car during practice today. He was looking for a good performance, but let's take a look at the replay to see what happened. Let's go back to lap number one, where Chase Elliott seemingly had the jump, but again, Austin Dillon, has to have help, having help from his teammate Daniel Hemrick, is able to take the lead. Then heading to lap number two, this is where the field, I think, is going to get stacked up on two and three. As, yeah, a great jump by Dylan, and yes, again, the field's going to get stacked up, and, uh, and Kevin Harvick just loses momentum. We have two laps left in segment number three.
Austin Dillon continues with his dominant performance as he wins yet another segment here today. Let's take a look at the replay. Lap 3, Chase Elliott almost was able to pass Austin Dillon. If there was a little bit more feet with the start-finish line, he might have been able to catch Austin Dillon. But it wasn't the case in lap number 4 as Dillon was able to get another great push from his teammate Hemrick as Hemrick was able to move into the second position and push Austin Dillon to the victory. As Austin Dillon is going to finish first here today, second place will be Daniel Hemrick, third Chase Elliott, fourth Ryan Blaney, fifth Chris Rubel, sixth Ryan Newman, seventh Daniel Suarez, then eighth Kevin Harvick, who wrecked out earlier in the segment. We now move to the final segment, segment number four. In row one, your Charlotte race winner in the 20 car is Eric Jones, and right next to him in the 88 car, Alex Bowman. In row two is the 43 car of Bubba Wallace and the 16 car of Chase Briscoe. In row three, in the 08 car is Kyle Larson, and the 10 car is Eric Amarola. Then rounding right out of the field in the 41 car is Cole Custer, and in the 24 car, William Byron. Another Stuart Haas racing car is out of this race as Eric Almarola somehow wrecks out. We were not able to catch it, the glimpse of the wreck at first, but we'll have to see in the replay. Now heading to lap number one, look at this jump Alex Bowman gets, but again, entering corner turn one, Eric, that inside line is able to charge right back, and Eric Jones was able to take that lead back with no problem. Then heading back to lap number two, with Alex Bowman moving to the third lane. He tried to make kind of a move on Eric Jones entering turn three, but he couldn't quite make the move, and Eric Jones continued to hold the lead. Then heading to lap three, this is where Eric Almirola was able to wreck, but Eric Jones yet again is going to be able to hold the lead with a great push from Bubba Wallace, and almost, it almost looked like that Alex Bowman had a chance to pass, but couldn't, wasn't quite able to. But we're going to Take a look on our GoPro from our GoPro cam to see what exactly happened to Eric Amarola. Again, this was during lap number three. As they come down, entering at turn one, entering turn two, it looks like he gets caught up with William Byron and just might have just lost momentum and loses speed and will wreck out of the for fourth segment. Now we have one lap left in segment number four. This time, with help from Bubba Wallace and Cole Custer, Alex Bowman was able to pass Eric Jones on the outside lane to take home the segment win. And a great job by Alex Bowman to get in front of Eric Jones and make that move as we haven't been able to see that work all day so far. Great job by Alex Bowman to get that segment win. Bowman finishes first, Bubba Wallace second, Eric Jones third. Chase Briscoe is going to finish fourth in his second start. Cole Custer 5th, Kyle Larson in 6th, William Byron in 7th, and Eric Almirola in 8th. We now move on to the Challenger race. And because this is a doubleheader weekend, there is going to be only a Challenger race for each of the two races. So going to leading the field down will be Kyle Busch in the 18 car, and in the 8 car will be Tyler Reddick. The top four drivers will move on to the final stage. Chase Elliott is out of this race in a similar looking crash that Eddie Gallagher faced earlier and it looks like Bubba Wallace may have some issues. We'll see if the crew will be able to repair that as we take a look at the replay. Bubba Wallace is the second car on the outside and Chase Elliott is the third car and again it looks like they just have no room and oh a very nasty tumble that Chase Elliott faces and Bubba Wallace it looks like he's able to 
continue. We hit that safer barrier really hard, so we'll have to see what damage that the 43 team has as we're going to take a look at it from the GoPro camera here to see if we can get a better shot of what happened. Oh, look at the vicious hit that Bubba Wallace had. I'm not quite sure if they're going to be able to get that car going, but we're hearing word from the crew that they are going to start from the rear as they manage to get it. Meanwhile, Kyle Busch is going to lead the race with three laps to go. We have another caution, and it's for both RCR teammates, Tyler Reddick and Daniel Hemrick. So let's take a look at replay to see what happened. Okay, this is going back to lap two. The Joe Gibbs Racing teammates are on the inside with Hemrick on the outside. Watch this power move by Eric Jones going on the high side of turn three to get around Kyle Busch to take the lead. A very impressive move. Then both RCR teammates are in the second row. Let's see if we can get a better angle of what happened. It looks like uh, Tyler Reddick loses momentum, and Hemrick is not able to get around Joseph West on the high side, and that causes him to flip. As we take a look at from the GoPro, see if we can get a little bit better angle. Yeah, it looks like Reddick was already sliding, and Hemrick was like almost on two wheels exiting turn three, and no wonder he ended up flipping over with that car. So we only have one lap left in the challenger race, which cars will move on to the final stage. Jones is able to win the challenger race and move on to the final stage to go to replay. An impressive run by Joseph West, as I believe this is the first time that he's going to be moving on to the final stage. And Ryan Newman and Matt Mandetto are also going to join Eric Jones and Joseph West into the final stage with a great performance by those guys. Eric Jones first, Ryan Newman second, with Joseph West third, Benedetto finishes fourth, Bubba Wallace fifth, Kyle Busch falls back to sixth, Kozlowski seventh, Tyler Reddick eighth, Daniel Hemrick ninth, and Chase Elliott in tenth. We now move on to the final stage where we will crown a winner for the first Dover race. In row one is the 77 car of Ross Chastain, and the 19 car is Martin Truex Jr. In row two is the 3 car of Austin Dillon, the 88 car of Alex Bowman. In row three, the 20 car of Eric Jones, and the 6 car of Ryan Newman. That are out of the field is the 28 car of Joseph West, and the 21 car of Matt DiBenedetto. Who will win the first Dover race? Martin Truex Jr. is going to be our winner here at the Dover International Speedway for the first doubleheader race. As we take a look at the replay, lap one, it was through the first three laps, it was a duel between Chastain and Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex Jr. was able to lead lap one, but Chastain was able to charge back here and take the lead with help from Eric Jones. But watch Alex Bowman go into the safer barrier on the side. He ended up finishing seventh, I would believe. But here, heading into lap 3, this is where Chastain would ultimately get taken out of the race after Truex hits a good jump. He gets turned sideways and gets pushed off the track. That causes Truex to get a pretty sizable lead. And heading into the final lap, Martin Truex Jr. and Eric Jones will be on the front row looking to have a performance like they did at Charlotte where Eric Jones won the race and Martin Truex Jr. finished second. And it was so close to be doing that. As Martin Truex Jr. was able to win, Austin Dillon was able to peek in for second, but Toyota will win back-to-back -back races in a pretty impressive performance 
for Joe Gibbs Racing. Truex is going to finish first. Austin Dillon second. Eric Jones third. Joseph West with fourth. I think this is his best performance ever in an announced car at the next Cowboys Cup Series race. The Benedetto finishes fifth. Ryan Newman sixth. Alex Bowman seventh. And then Chastain falls back to eighth. Martin Truex Jr. is going to celebrate in victory lane with his win in the AAA 400. This is his first ever NASCAR Athletics Hot Wheels Cup Series win, and he punches his ticket into the playoffs. And this is also Toyota's second win and back-to-back -back performance. So here are your race results. The top 10 include Martin Truex Jr., Austin Dillon, Eric Jones, Joseph West, Matt Mendetto, Ryan Newman, Alex Bowen, Ross Chastain, Bubba Wallace, and Kyle Busch. The way that the second race will be lined up will be the top 20 will be inverted so that means Chris Rebell will be your pole sitter for the second Dover race Hamlin and Priest and Busher will all lead a stage during that race and that should be pretty interesting as we'll see some very good cars have to work their way up from the back of the field to try to win the second Dover race now let's take all your point standings after seven races and there's only three races left until the playoffs. Drivers with wins include Austin Dillon, Ross Chastain, Daniel Hemrick, Eric Jones, and now Martin Schrinks Jr. Alex Bowman and Bubba Wallace all have a 40, over a 40 point lead above the cut line and Cole Custer 30 has set 37 points. So those guys are seemingly locked in on points for the next few races. Then you get down to around the ninth spot with Denny Hamlin up 14. Harvick is up 8, while Byron is up 7. And then you get to the cut line, Kozlowski's up 2. Almirola down 2, Reddick down 4, Boyer down 6, and Logano down 7. So this cut line is getting tight, and your championship, your reigning champion, Jimmy Johnson, is down 20 points below the cutoff line. So those guys are going to need to do something quick. They're going to want to make it into the playoffs. Meanwhile, leading in playoff points is Ross Chastain with 16 playoff points. Those are going to be very crucial to try to carry over throughout the rest of the playoffs. And that will conclude our coverage from the Dover International Speedway. The next race will be back here at Dover for the second Dover race. Part of the Dover Doubleheaders for the Gander RV 400. Who will win that race? And I'm A North, signing off.